would urinate in a pool <laughs> and not feel guilty. <laughs> oh, I did get Bieber. stuck with Justin Bieber. <laughs> Why? Hi there, I'm Andy at Board Game Barrister, our local game shop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm here with my fellow barristers, Gordon, Elizabeth, and Ian, and today we're playing a little bit of Who's It, which is an awesome guessing game about guessing people based on some silly clues. Let's jump right in. Today we're playing Who's It, a guessing game about people both famous and fictional. Let's take a look. So the first thing to know about Who's It is it's a cooperative game. We're all working together to get our score as high as we possibly can toward that elusive who's I at the end. We might end up meh, not bad, or pretty good along the way. We're going to play the game in four rounds before going to a fifth final challenge round. Each of those four rounds, one player will play as the clue giver, and they're going to randomly draw a number that tells them which of these famous names they're going to have to lead the rest of us toward with the clues they have this round. The clues take the form of descriptions. So for example, could cook without looking at a recipe, or would make a great karaoke partner. The clue giver for each round gets two clues to line up on this scale and try to lead the rest of us to their answer. For example, say I drew number four, which means I'm trying to direct my teammates toward my secret answer of Dolly Parton. Using those clues, I could say, well, Dolly's definitely a great karaoke partner, right? Uh, but I don't know that much about her cooking. Could cook without looking at a recipe? That's a solid maybe. And now the other players will have to start eliminating people who they think definitely don't meet these descriptions. Maybe they decide to eliminate Albert Einstein because amazing scientist doesn't ne necessarily mean definitely a great karaoke partner, and that would score them their first point of many, and we'll move on from there. Alrighty, so we already dealt out our first hand of people. We've got William Shakespeare. The Poet, Elvis Presley, The Hips, Captain Jack Sparrow, <laughs> The Mascara. The, ma uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Drunk Pirate. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Hanks, Everybody's Wilson. Dad, Alex Trebek, The Late That's Everybody's the Dad of Jeopardy. Dad, right? no, oh, no, no, Jeopardy. Oh, no, oh, no, Jeopardy. Yeah, yeah, Jeopardy. We got it. We got it. And the Wicked, Witch, the Wicked Witch of the West. It's the Green Everybody's one. Mean Mom. I don't know. It's the Green Mom. Um, Jumping right on in, Ian's going to be our first clue giver. That's so me. Ian, you get to select <gasps> your <laughs> secret number up. for round one. Gordon stacked these out earlier, so I wouldn't get it right. Let's see here. All right, I got it. Okay, you get your <coughs> top two clues. You get to two decide clues. which which side you want to do of each other. All right, let's see here. We've got would handwrite a thank you note. Mm. Would be a good ballroom dance partner. Flosses regularly. And goes the extra mile. I don't know, it seemed good. Mm. Goes the extra mm. mile is kind of vague. Yeah, yeah, and we're not using that Provided one. That, that he picked number three and has Captain Jack Sparrow, Ooh. those are great clues. Yeah, that yeah, would be absolutely. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Go we're going to do, uh, we're going to do, flo I do them both at once, yeah? Yep. Okay, so we're going to do definitely, definitely flosses floss. regularly. Yeah, that's okay. That probably rules out Jack Sparrow. I think yeah. It probably does. Really would great. probably be a good ballroom dancer. Yeah. I don't know what. I'm feeling like Tom Hanks and Alex Trebek are on even footing here. Well, all we have yeah. to do is start eliminating. Correct. Yeah, and then you start low hanging fruit. Yeah. So, so, uh, I Jack. Yeah. We take Jack. Jack is out. That's One a point. point. Leap. All right. I think we also got to get rid of the Wicked Witch of the West because she probably does not floss. She definitely doesn't. I mean, she doesn't definitely floss. She doesn't definitely floss. Yeah, it's kind of, a an, fair kind of an unknown there. So I think she and safe. she and William are, are safe. Yeah, that's at this probably. Point. So we'll take the wicked. Taking action. wicked. Point. Now, right. now here's a question. We know that Elvis Presley has the famous hips. Mm. So why would he be probably good at ballroom dancing? Isn't that a little? He could be definitely good at ballroom dancing. That's what I'm saying. Yes, yeah. that's one. But, not, that's but, not. But what he didn't ballroom dance. He did a bunch of other How dancing. Do you know? Well, like, we don't know him okay. to have, we don't definitely know him to have ballroom danced, is what I know. But Unless I think, anybody I, does. I think that the point of, of uh, Shakespeare is not definitely flossing. I oh, think flossing. That, well, yeah. yeah. Shakespeare's I, an easy next. Yeah. Yeah. We'll All take, right, we'll Shakespeare out. Down. We're moving, we're getting moving out. Up. Moving so on up. Got at least three Flaw points around one. All right, okay. let's go. So, Tom Hanks is an actor, so he probably had to do some ballroom dancing. Absolutely, for some Yeah. This is also... Through Ian's eyes right. oh. <laughs> into the people. Right. So we can't even yeah. rely on 
real information necessarily. <laughs> it's the true. information <laughs> I made has. it all up. And he did think that Alex Trebek was Pat Sajak. I did. So. I, mean, <laughs> yep, I did indeed. So let's just pull him. Um, Pat Sajak has the large like. Head I want right, to pull Elvis just on gut. I think I want to pull Elvis just on gut at this point. I, I, I think concur. it's a toss up. And okay, I Elvis is gone. Gut. We're calling it. Great. Yeah. yeah. The same guy. Enjoy. And then we could, you know, <laughs> just flip a coin and be. These are. They're basically <laughs> the same guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think, Ian? Drew? Who is the right choice? That's my answer. I mean, I've just, uh, I've just given it to you, right? Yeah. I don't know <laughs> that. I don't know that. The ballroom dancing would have been the the clue to pick if he had pulled Trebek. I would ballroom dance with Tom Hanks. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go based on that. Let's take Let's Alex just out. Let's take Alex right? out. Didn't get the last. No. Nah, okay. Oh, no. I saw Alex close. was on one of those Dancing with the Clowns he probably or something. Was. Yeah, like, sure I thought he, he was. was Dancing with the Clowns. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it. I thought for sure it he just was on that. The whole time. For some reason that clicked in my head and I was like, oh, that's got to be it. And then the tooth one was easy to eliminate all those guys. Yeah, I mean, and this then is I'm a, like, these are the same dude. These are I'm perfectly like, fair play to end They're the yeah. same guy. And I had no clue for like giving. It's not true. Your one is great. older than the other. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, but older. we did really well. That was good. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, got yeah, five of the six, right? Five, Fantastic. Yeah, five of the six. Nice. Okay. Elizabeth oh. is the next clue giver. I did not shuffle those. All right, so I just take one. We got to put out some new people. Take one of these. Okay, we have Oprah Winfrey. Okay. We were in this whole line Top here. Of, host yeah. of Oprah fame. We have Kermit, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a better round. We have Nudist. No, that's going to be Princess oh, Leia. Nice. Ooh, 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 who nice. put that card together? Oh, man. Uh, I like this. Banker or Robin Hood. Okay, so right. they got a little cheeky yeah. with these. Wait, is that the Fox Robin Hood or the Men in Tights Robin Hood? Same. It's the same thing. Okay, all right. Unless it gets to, like, eat small rodents. <laughs> The Dalai Lama. Right. <laughs> and Frankenstein's monster. Right. Cool. That's a good set of clues. As <laughs> yeah. long as it's not they are green is the clue. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So I know who I'm going for. All right. All right. My options are usually has a smile on their face or is a great cook. The other one is sings in the shower or is a stickler for details. <laughs> Usually has a smile on their face. Definitely has a smile. It is a stickler for details, probably. Mm. Wow. Well. Great. Mm. Oh. So I mean, monster can go, right? Monster can probably go. That's an easy one. All right, one. Frankenstein's monster. Frank it out. Uh, yeah. Okay. You advance. Hey. space. Oh, okay. Mm. I mean, I'm kind of leaning Endgame Oprah, but we'll see. Yeah, see I'm Kermit like, I, as well, maybe. I want to yeah, throw it I'm, out. Yeah, I'm on no. Dalai Lama. I want to throw it out. Uh, I but I think you can get rid of Princess Leia because really, she smiles. But not not definitely usually. Oh uh, yeah, true. Right. I mean, true, true. she's got to be mad at, at Han. You know, a fair she chunk of the time. She is kind of a stickler for details, though. Yeah, I agree she, with she's that. She's a general but, in the army. I don't think she usually has a smile on her face. She was kind of the hard ass. Yeah. You're right. Okay, we can take her out. I mean, Leia, taking her out. Can we lose? Uh, you advance one spot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So now, I mean, Robin, Robin Hood is not a detailed oriented guy, is he? I mean, he does come up with schemey plans, but it's all kind of ad hoc. It's all chaos, yeah. yeah. Right? I think he's the easiest pick from among these. It's yeah, tough sure. now. Okay. Robin Hood's next. Taking him out. You advance. Yes! Yay. All right, okay. uh, we concede. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Oprah as the, uh, the winner for sure. So I would like, I mean, I'd cut Kermit. I agree That's with cutting right. Kermit, but I, I'm, I'm totally on Dalai Lama. Because, like, but does he actually smile? He's a puppet. <laughs> like, he's always it's got the same face. He's a big smile all the time. He's got the same face. Yeah. I still say cut Kermit. That's my vote. Does the Dalai Lama usually have a smile? He's the most serene person on the planet. But that's, you don't that's like smile he's smiling when you're he's, serene, you I, just look Wait, is the Dalai Lama a stickler for details though? He's just kind of chilling with whatever <laughs> karma is going. Right? He has managed to live in exile for yeah. decades and decades uh, since he was a youngster. I mean, come on. Maybe. I think, I think he's the easy first next pick. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Cut the llama. <laughs> I don't think it's a definitely for the smile. Yeah, we cut the llama for With sure. the llama. The <laughs> <laughs> llama. The llama is getting cut. The llama. We're taking it? Yep. It's two versus one. We're, we're, cut him. we're going over your head. Oh. You advance. Yeah! yeah. No. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Okay. Now it's hard. This is hard now. Uh, I still think Kermit's the cut. That's fine. I want to cut Kermit. What do you think? 
It's just, this reads like Oprah. It definitely know. is Oprah, yeah. For sure. God. Except she might definitely be a stickler for details. Yeah, but I mean, sometimes it's like, if you do double definitely, that's... Then, I mean, then you're... Then you're like super confident. Points, yeah, yeah, I guess. I say cut Kermit. That's my pick. Yeah. That's fine. Rip off the frog legs. Cut them off. You got it. Yeah! yeah foot nice. I didn't know you could Woo. do double definitely. You can. She you runs can. her own yeah. business, yeah, so... You, you know. Nice, nice. Clean. Whew. Good round, good round. Yeah. All right, let's see how you live up to that one. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who's Jonathan Van Ness? Yes, the queer eye. Okay. Inspector yes, Gadget. Queen. Which one? Oh, yeah, sure, okay. Cleopatra. So we've got Han Solo. We just had Princess Leia. Mm. I feel oh, like no. it's a different person. Oh, What's wow. on the other well, side? Totally different person. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking if we should. Put him out. It's a lot of Star Wars. People like Star Wars. Star Wars is the best. Okay. Yeah. Which one did I and choose? Harry Potter. Nice. Or? All right. Well, wow. Meryl Streep. That's nice. a good. That's a good lineup. Okay. We have got screams at the referee during sporting events. That's probably very nice. telling. <laughs> Visits the the spa frequently, so mm. it's going to be one or one mm. or the okay. other of those. Would make a great awards ceremony host, or puts their job above all else. Uh, Ooh. Man. The first one's a good clue. Can you imagine seeing Inspector Gadget like hosting an award ceremony? It would, it would be pretty interesting. He'd have his own microphone built in. Catastrophe, though. I'm going to go here. And here. So definitely visits the spa frequently, frequently. And maybe does not make a great awards ceremony host. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm on Cleopatra. I mean, that's kind of where my mind was going as well. Wait, wait, we're talking about eliminating easy fruit first. Yeah, I'm just saying that, that yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's my, my end game fruit. is on it. So, so, bananas first. Definitely visits the spa. spa so, it's this guy definitely visits the spa. Yep, right? but Inspector Gadget probably does not. Got him. I mean, the, the, the three dudes. Yeah, we're cutting him, we're cutting him. Yeah. Inspector Gadget. One point. Yay. And I mean, Harry Potter does not go to the spa. I'm pretty sure Hogwarts did not have a spa. Yeah, well, I mean, know. kind of the infirmary, right? All right we can, you know, but we can okay, go. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> One point. Also, Han Solo definitely doesn't spa. He's a up. scruffy looking. He never even went into the back to tank. Yeah, I mean, cut, come on. We cut Han. Bye, Han. He Third smells point. like a Wookiee. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he, does. he does hug one. Hey. Um, and he lives with one in a ship. <laughs> Hmm. What are you so okay, so game show host. I don't think Cleopatra is a good game show host. Would so that's oh, okay. So that's what we not want. Make a game show we host. want them to be not a good. So game show So Meryl Streep would probably do a good yeah, job. We, we could probably her. cut Meryl. We cut yeah. Meryl. Yep. Got it. I think it's. I think we cut. Well, wait. Would not. Would maybe not make a good ceremony host. I mean, Jonathan Van Ness would cut probably him. be doing okay yeah. job. I think we cut him. It Cleopatra would be. It would never be long. And disjointed, but it would be funny. Yeah, I think we caught him. Cleopatra would be speaking in languages that we don't understand. That's and why it's maybe know not what a TV a, is or not a microphone. Not a good or, idea. All right, we caught cut Jonathan. Jonathan. Yep. Oh, oh, oh yeah, right. perfect. Got him. Boom. All right, killing it. All right, so you're making my job a, easy yeah, here. Yeah, fourth round before our final fifth round. Making my job easy. Well, it's mostly making my well, job I mean, if easier. You screw this for the up last terribly. round, yeah, so well, I don't have ten answers. Well, but, to go but see, I don't have to do a great job, yeah. and you, for, to, to still <laughs> not have you be terrible, bit. right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I've got Count Dracula. Ah, ah, ah. That's the guy from the serial, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, no. that's Count Chocula. That's Count Chocula. <laughs> The ah uh, ah uh, ahs uh, don't apply. We had oh. Frankenberry earlier. So. Got Bob Marley and the Whalers. Oh, the Hulk. Nice, nice. Homer Simpson. Comma. Okay. Incredible. Okay. Gollum. Ooh, oh, this yeah. is a nice Getting setup all the references here. here. And Mr. Rogers. There are some okay. real people in this it's deck. It's an all yes. male board here. <laughs> Would urinate in a pool <laughs> and not feel guilty. <laughs> well, wow, that that's could a be great, great depending yeah. on your choice. Yeah. <laughs> if you have Homer Simpson, you've wow. already won. <laughs> or. <laughs> It actually would, applies to a lot of them. Yeah. I'm afraid. <laughs> I would like to dress like them. Yeah. Okay. Gollum for sure. Dracula. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I, I suppose that's me as the I. I would like to dress like them. I see none of them wearing a barrister shirt no. and khaki jeans. Just saying. Uh, would be a good wow. marriage counselor. There's one on the board. <laughs> or is very concerned about their appearance. Ooh. 
Hmm. Well, let's hope he has Dracula, because then it's real easy. Oh, man. You can't, you can't look there's at a the lot mirror. Of, there's a lot of parallels between Mr. Rogers' uh, outfit and uh, and your, your repertoire, Gordon, there. So maybe that'll work. Oh, what do we got? All right. So definitely would urinate in a pool and not feel guilty. Wow. Got okay. Got that's and most of them. Definitely would not be a good marriage counselor. Not a good marriage counselor. Okay. So, I mean, that still feels like Homer, Gollum, and Dracula to me. So <laughs> well, <laughs> let's go in. with Rogers first. Yeah, we have Rogers out because you're you know, out of he's here. not being in the pool. You, you right. get a point. You are, uh, you can be my neighbor. I think we cut uh, Dracula from peeing in a pool, too. Uh, can vampires pee? No. <laughs> they don't so, pee. I mean, we have a bunch of characters with no remorse in their souls. Right. Marley probably has some degree of remorse. Wouldn't be a definitely pee, I don't well, think. Well, I guess it depends on how stoned he is. The Hulk actually has some really good yeah. insights. Is that Professor Hulk, or is that... Current Hulk. First, and yeah, current Hulk is definitely not peeing in the pool. But you know the established. secret. I mean... I still think... The choices wouldn't have gone out that way if, it, if Bob Marley was the final. I think he. Okay. I, I, I'm fine cutting him, but I also think Dracula is not being in a pool. Yeah, maybe not. All right, we cut. I'm cutting Dracula. That's my vote. Oh man. I also cut Bob Marley. This feels bad. I cut I, both. I, all right. I would, I would yeah. cut Bob and Hulk before Count Dracula. Okay, so not Bob then. We all feel good about cutting Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Great. You get a point. Oh, nice. yeah. This is not a comfortable round. I mean, like. If, so like, the clues line up perfectly with these two, no question. I mean, Homer Simpson, I think, is the answer. I think it could be, could be either so easily. My vote's I mean, Dracula, got him. He ain't being in the pool. I think we're probably going to end up cutting both of those two that you guys I just don't up, really so. think of, of Count Dracula as feeling, as like having emotions at all, but yeah, sure, that's we could cut him. He's not a that's good true. The counsel. entire clue does read, and would not feel guilty. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's... Um, Great. I'm pulling Great Drac. Point. I'm pulling Dracula. Ah! No. You get a point. Yes. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The other one, I would oh, cut Hulk, oh, too. Oh, oh, oh. I think we cut Hulk, too. I, I Great. Okay, cut yeah. it. No! Yeah, you get a point. Nice. It's not a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So, yeah, these Total are the same up. thing. Yeah, it's a toss up. Uh, I think Homer is the answer, for real. I Yeah, I think that we have context for Homer being bad at marriage, but. <sighs> Column would be yep. kind of an unknown. I mean, it's probably bad. Homer's I think it's a 50 50 still married. Way. He is, it is a, I After guess, after like say 30 years of marriage. Successful and I will say, Gollum probably has some really apt marriage counseling. Mm. My precious. Yeah, that's true. It does like, uh, <laughs> this is going to be some weird Gordon explanation. Explanation yeah. in the end. I'm surprised we got this many right with him being. But now over. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Gollum is the final answer. Got him. I want to cut, cut him. Homer, I want to cut, cut Homer. Cut Homer. I was ah. trying to cut Homer. Too we bad. were trying to cut Homer. How do we do? You would have been wrong. Great. Oh, yes. Ah. Ah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay, okay. do well by us on the final. Okay, oh, yeah. so we're going into the final. We did, the we did almost perfectly so far, so we will have seven characters in the final round instead All of right. a so potential we put out seven. ten. The fifth and final challenge round might be more difficult depending on how well we've done so far. We're going to look at the number under our current score, which is currently an eight, and that means we have to add a seventh and an eighth name this round, and we'll have even more to eliminate to try to get that perfect score. We'll also add a 7th and 8th card to the Clue Giver's random pile so they could end up with any of these 8 names. And we'll try our best to get to the Huzzah before the game is over. Alright, we've got Justin Bieber. Okay. Indiana Jones. Okay. Godzilla. Nice. Joan of Arc. Michael Jackson. Oh man, there's so much, so many people on fire here. Yeah, Those are the same person. Except one's a lady. Alright. <clears throat> Would make a great babysitter. Mm, that's always a good one. Turns the other cheek. Would never take the last piece of cake. <laughs> Loves riding roller coasters. Uh, tough. Okay. Um, Most likely to moonwalk. Too bad that wasn't on there. Okay. Probably loves riding roller coasters. Great. And it, yeah. maybe not the best babysitter. Okay. Mm, that could be tough. 
Tarzan. Oh, that could be Indiana Jones. Yeah, Indiana looks Good. like a fair. But he might definitely love riding roller coasters. Yep. This is yep. really tough. My, it's a tough uh, one. It's good. Yeah. It's unlikely we get any correct. <laughs> so, uh, well, I mean, I mean there's obvious Godzilla ones that feels cut. like a, a uh, fair I mean, start. That'd be a, a fair a fair bet that babysitting would be a clear answer. Like, no babysitting for Godzilla. So. Yeah. Um, Let's get it. Okay. Low hanging fruit. Uh, Joan of Arc can probably just go. These answers don't really say anything. Probably those riding roller coasters. He would, he would have chosen different. Unknown. Yeah, unknown. Yeah, okay. It's that unknown, feels like unknown. an okay. Yep. We're going to take John. Yeah. Meh. I'm actually We're on meh feel right now. like yeah. Ian. Well, I think you can get rid of Michael Jackson because we know that he definitely would like rolling riding roller coasters. He does have one at his house. I, right. I, th I think the answers, <laughs> the answers are pretty clear with Michael Jackson, so it would not be what Ian put. Yeah. Okay. Nice. We take Michael. I'm glad that I used the middling answers to my advantage. I feel on this. like yeah. this <laughs> puts us in like Bieber Tarzan territory for our final. Tarzan. Tarzan's gonna a be, weird one. He's going to be swinging. He's going to love all of that. He loves the roller coaster. He'd probably be a great babysitter, right? I mean, he's he raised by wolves, you know. Mm. I mean, okay, that's Jungle mm. Book, but you know. Raised by wolves? No, he's raised by the jungle. Whatever. <laughs> and that was gorillas. Yeah, yeah. great. It's <laughs> raised by wolves in the jungle. So I'm, I, I'm, I, I right, think, I think eliminate we, Tarzan. Oh uh, man, they, it could, it could, it's a total toss. I wouldn't now. give my kid to Tarzan. Okay, cutting Tarzan. Take him. Yep. I'm like the Ian being like, I'm gonna call this for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the right path. <laughs> so Ian far. We are pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Indy's gotta love roller coasters, right? Yeah. Like that's the only defining factor for me right now. Is I just don't know that coasters. we know anything about Beyonce's roller coaster preferences. I think that there's just not enough known there. Yeah, that might have just ended up at a neutral. That's a fair yeah. point. Yeah, we should probably just eliminate Beyonce. All right. Nice. Okay. So close. I Did think we get he got there? stuck with Bieber. I really think he got <laughs> stuck with Bieber. Hey, he's not old enough to babysit, is he? Yeah, How he's like he 25. Yeah, he's old now. He's got a weird, <laughs> dirty mustache now, and like, yeah, he's a weird looking All human. Right. Yeah. <laughs> bum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum. Bum ba dum bum. Bum. We've done it! Yeah! Go to I Justin did get stuck Bieber. with Justin Bieber. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but this is how you use the, that's how you use the middling ones to like get your answer through because yeah. you get stuck with those ones where yeah. you know they're not a clear cut. So all right, nice. we are perfect. Who's it players? You yep. saw it here. <laughs> Easy. Thank you for watching us succeed at everything we do. Yeah. I game. think it's down to Ian's expertise. Oh, with, well, with yeah, with Justin Bieber. Yes, yeah. I'm very. Uh, <laughs> Well versed in Amazing the Bieber stuff. history. Amazing yeah. stuff. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That's Who's It. I hope you had a good time watching us play. We had a great time playing. It was a ton of fun. Uh, if you want to chat with us and get some game ideas, please use our virtual barrister service. We can have a little video chat with you and find some great recommendations. It'll be a good fit for your friends and family. If you like this one right here, you can get it from our online store. Or the next time that you are in Milwaukee, come by and pay our stores a visit. We'd love to see you in person. As always, the algorithm says that if you hit like and subscribe, more people will be introduced to this. And if you liked it and want other people to see it, please go ahead, hit that like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Gordon. I've got Andy, Elizabeth, and Ian. We'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy. I'm hyperventilating <laughs> here at Board Game Barrister. Hi there. I'm Andy at Board Game Barrister. <laughs> you knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Andy at Board Game Barrister here in Milwaukee. Hi there, I'm Andy at Board Game Barrister, our game shop in... Okay, I'm going with the first one. This is <laughs>